Welcome everyone to People on Dating. I'm your host, Will Morales. And for those of you who are tuning in for the first time, this podcast is about the ups and downs of dating and how to get navig- how to navigate it through it. Jesus, that was a mouthful. Anyway, uh, today's topic, what I wanted to talk about was the one that got away. And this is for the um, for the fellas especially. If you have dated someone and you knew she was right at the time but for some reason I had to go and date someone that was a little bit more glamorous yeah stories about me so this was when I was uh, I think 28 29 something like that I was dating this one girl and listen I also look back that I wasn't ready. You know, um, there was th- there were still things in my life that I wanted to to do, which was um, not gonna lie, mostly hang out, no care in the world, you know. And having a girlfriend at that time was like, eh, it was pluses and minus. Unfortunately, there was definitely more pluses than minus, and the few minus I. Let it overtake the pluses, if that makes sense. So, I was dating this one girl, like I said, and I had met someone. I used to work in a department store years ago. Uh, Again, this is uh, early 90s. And I met this girl through, I think if I remember correctly, through a mutual friend. And we kind of had instant chemistry. You know, I asked for her phone number. Back in those days, what's your Facebook page? What's your Instagram page? None of that. It was phone number or nothing at all, or a pager. And uh, so I met the girl, the cosmetic girl. You know, like I said, I found her glamorous. She worked in cosmetics, so you know, autom- you know, automatically, you know, she's she's a looker cute to pretty I say definitely cute even though she had a lot of makeup on but overall she was I found her um, more appealing than the girl that was the plain Jane even though the plain Jane was pretty for me anyway so I started talking more and more to to the glamorous girl you know, the cosmetics girl. Then I realized, you know, that I ended up liking her more than the, I hate to say plain Jane, but let's say the, the ex that should have been more, if that makes sense. It, you know, someone that I could have married years later. Anyway, so I'm dating the cosmetic girl. I think things are going good. And then one day she asked me the L question. Do I love her? This is after two, three months. And in a panic, because I never had said the word I love you before. So that was foreign to me, saying that, you know, those three words. I immediately said no. She hesitated for a second. She goes, yeah, I don't, I don't love you either. And I'm like, but we only know each other for two or three months. Her reasoning to break up was because she didn't like, she wouldn't like the fact that I would grow to love her and I'm like to me you grow to love a pet that's how I look at it instead of growing to love a person you grow to love a person you love them you're not in love with them if that makes sense anyway so when she told me that you know the day that we spoke we ended up breaking up well she broke up with me I tried to get her back and unfortunately that didn't work out and I'm going to be honest with you, I was, I was pissed and upset. And it came, you know, karma came back to me because the girl that I should have married, I did the same to her. I broke up with her. And she got upset. You know, she was crying. I remember hearing her cry as I left the apartment. And I felt like shit. But I'm going to be honest with you guys, my heart just wasn't in it. I can't force my heart to do something it doesn't want to do. So, 
I ended up going out with the cosmetic girl. And like I just mentioned before, unfortunately, that didn't work out. And I was upset. And I have to give credit where credit is due. Uh, the girl I should have married, she bounced back. I remember she came by the next day to my apartment and, you know, she wanted to find out what was going on. I just said, listen, just my, my heart is not in it. And she understood. Uh, and I got to admit, though, I was probably scared to fall in love. I didn't know what love was at that age. You know, so I got to, you know, I can't, you know, fault her or fault myself. I just didn't know what love was. You know, I, that, that was a foreign concept to me. Anyway, so after the breakup, um, the first one uh, with the girl I should have married, and I started dating the other one. And I was having fun. We were going out. We, you know, I, the other girl, you know, you could say fortunate for me or unfortunate. It was thing of the past. I didn't even think about her anymore. But after the cosmetic girl broke up with me, and I remember saying to myself, boy, you know, I, I, I know I blew it. And this is like a year or two years later. And I remember even as I got older in my 30s and 40s, I'm like, man, you know, that's the one that got away. She was a good woman. You know, she took care of me. She cooked for me. She didn't ask for anything in return except love, which I couldn't give her. And I remember I was hoping to reach out to her one day and just apologize for being a dick. You know, for being, um, you know, uh, um, you know, hurting her feelings and messing up something that I think could have been great. But again, you'll never know if it would have worked out, right? You never know. But I would say definitely her. She was the one that got away because, again, whether I'm, I was selfish or I was scared, and most likely I'll put more scared than anything, uh, I just didn't know how to act. I didn't know, you know, how to handle it. You know, a woman that loved me, I, I was horrible at it. And, um, and I look at it as a lesson learned. And for, and for the guys out there, sometimes the grass is not always greener on the other side. You know, it could backfire on you big time. So I'm just saying, you know, always be uh, cautious of what that other person might be. In other words, you know, the glitz and the glamour might not always be that. You know, if you got someone good that's just, um, for, and another, for, again, for lack of a better word, just a plain Jane, you know, that might be the one. That's the one that's going to take care of you. That's the one that's going to be you know, on your side all the time. That's the, that's the one that most likely won't stray on you. So, so I wanted to talk about that. Like I said, it's just someone that got away. <laughs> My bad. I screwed it up. But, you know, you live and learn. You know, sometimes, I guess, again, the grass is not always greener on the other side. So, anyway, guys, like I said, be always cautious. Think about what you, your next move. If you see someone that has the glamour and all that, yes, you might have the chemistry. Yes, you might have, uh, man, a lot more than that. It might be just magic, but what happens after a couple of months? You know, you never know. So anyway, guys, uh, my name is Will Morales. This is People on Dating. Go to peopleondating.com. Check out our past shows. Check out our blog. Uh, I'm going to have some guests on soon. I've been doing a, a lot more, uh, oops, sorry about that, guys, I'm out on the street. I'm going to have a lot more solo shows to do. I, there's a bunch of topics I want to cover. Anyway, on behalf of People on Dating, I'm Will Morales. Until next time, thanks, everybody. Have a great day, and please stay safe. Bye.